Tonight, a random shooting spree playing out on the busiest highway in Austin, sending four people to the hospital, including a seven-year-old girl. This is a nightmare drivers were dealing with along I-35 early this morning. This is a person pulled over at I-35 in Breaker Lane. Their windows were shot out, shattered by bullets. Police say a man did this with an assault rifle. He is in jail tonight. Officers say he was shooting and driving all at the same time, randomly targeting innocent people. This map right here shows you the various locations and times of the 911 calls from people saying they were being shot at. This is an 18 mile stretch from Wells Branch Parkway all the way down to Stasny Lane. Again, 18 miles along I-35 and that first 911 call, 157 this morning. Police found the suspect's car abandoned just before 315. So from start to finish, police say this man was shooting at cars for about an hour and 15 minutes. Officers say most of his shots were in the northern part of the city and at one point he rammed into the back of of another vehicle. As KXN's Brittany Glass explains, each 911 caller helping catch the shooter. At about 1.57 a.m. this morning, uh, we received our first 911 call. A shooting spree unfolding along I-35. Drivers frantically calling for help for well over an hour. The moment that somebody calls 911, the very first thing we want to know is what is your location? Where are you? What's going on? 911, where is your emergency? Those in danger relaying crucial information to an APD call taker who helps the caller and relays details to a dispatcher so officers know where to go and what to do next. But we want to make sure that we're getting them the right and the correct information. Weapons, intoxication, what people look like, or is anyone injured? Communications supervisor Michael Payne says their technology helped establish the series of calls were connected, each one a piece of the puzzle. Having the, the good location information, knowing what's going on around, being able to see that there are multiple calls coming in, I would say that it's, it's critical for any situation that happens. APD coordinated operations through its real time crime center, utilizing dispatchers, adding officers and getting help from other law enforcement agencies to finally put the puzzle together. Within a very short time, they were able to develop a suspect off of the investigation that they conducted and um, actually located and took the suspect into custody without incident. Brittany Glass, KXAN News. And even though 911 calls were coming in like crazy, APD says every single one was answered in fewer than 10 seconds. And like Brittany said, Austin Police have coordinated citywide operations through their real time crime center. Here's some more information about that center. It's got 41 cameras, most in downtown, that are monitored by officers 24 hours a day. The center opened in 2010 and it can provide information they see to share with the officers on the street. 